everybody. Welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Today's message is letting go of fake friends. Letting go of fake friends. Before we get started, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all of the new viewers, all of the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now, those of you who are new to the channel, I will answer your relationship questions. So at the end of the video, I'll show you a link where you can send in your questions and I will either answer them privately through the email or I will share them online with the collective and it can be your decision. Now, those of you who are interested in these caps, they are available in my online store and you'll find a link in the description. Now it's time for our daily affirmation and we do these affirmations to help with your spiritual growth. And here it is. I do not compare myself to others. I am on my own path. I do not compare myself to others. People don't want to do that. I am on my own path. Love yourself. Be authentic. I do not compare myself to others. I am on my own path. Let this affirmation sink deep and be a blessing to you today. Okay, now it's time for movement. And we do these movements to get our blood circulating. And today, we're gonna do a neck movement. What we're gonna do is just like this. And that's one. And we're gonna do it for five times and then we're gonna go the other way. All right, let's go. One. One more. Five. All right. Did you feel it in your neck? Now let's go the other way. Sit up straight. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right. I felt it in my neck. It just loosens up your muscles and makes you feel better. Now let's dive into the message today. I did pull a video. We're going to watch the video. We have a short letter and we're going to talk about this issue. Letting go of fake friends. Here we go. These are three signs you have fake friends. Number one, they talk down on you. If they're always talking shit about you, disrespecting you, disrespecting your family, and bashing all your hopes and dreams, those aren't your real friends. They keep you around as entertainment. They keep you around because they know you're too fucking weak to leave. You're too soft to do anything about it. They don't give a fuck about your feelings or your happiness. They just know that you seek validation from them, so they might as well talk shit about you and bully you while you're around, or even behind your back. Number two, they always have their hand out. A lot of people have friends that just use them. They have the type of friends that just stick around because they know they can get something, such as a free ride, snacks, entertainment, or worst of all, money. They know that you value their friendship, when in reality, they don't give a fuck about you, but they give a fuck about what you have. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be able to help friends out, but if they're always asking for something you have, or asking for money, or seem like they don't come around unless they know they're gonna get something, then they're just using you. If you feel like you are dealing with a fake friend, I'm gonna give you three telltale signs that if these things are there, you 100% are. And this is coming from experience. I feel like I have been such a magnet for these people my whole life. So yeah, let's just dive right in. Starting with sign number one, if they gossip to you, they will gossip about you. Here's the thing, you might feel like, oh, they trust me and I'm a confidant for them, but really you are an audience member for them, okay? They're hoping that by putting someone else down, you're gonna find that person who they're actually threatened by as being less endearing 
and they're hoping that you will validate them in putting this person down too. Which brings me to sign number two, they will ask you for beauty advice. Ah, this one I feel like is gonna be controversial, but just hear me out. I've had friends, by the way, who've said things like, oh my God, your hair looks so much better than mine. Where do you get it done? That is not a compliment, okay? Even though you may think it is. A compliment would be, your hair looks beautiful today. The reason they're asking you for advice is because they envy you. They view you as competition. And a friend cannot view you as competition because anytime you will surpass them or succeed, they're gonna feel worse about themselves. They're not gonna be genuinely happy for you. Plus, they're low-key hoping you're gonna put yourself down and validate them when they say something like that. And the third sign is they don't want you in group settings. Why? Because more eyes on you mean less eyes on them. More people that like you is a threat to them. Let's see what she says in this letter. She says, a friend gave me some unsolicited cosmetic advice. And I, like a fool, listened to her. And her suggestions caused me to have to go to get treatment from a doctor. What she told me to do almost disfigured my face and caused me to get a huge rash all over my face and neck and caused my neck to get scarring, blisters, and bruising for all the last 90 days. I have been treating my skin and it's just been horrible. My friend would always give me unsolicited, terrible advice and send me terrible unsolicited clients and it would always be a mess and I would always ask her to not send me any more clients because of it and now I am wondering if she was doing this as an intentional distraction and now she has discarded me for no reason. Well you should be glad that she discarded you because you sh should have discarded her a long time ago okay because it feels like this is not the first time your friend did something like this and why you are so trusting of this friend is a little beyond me I have decided not to pursue her any further and just allow the relationship to fizzle out and expire it isn't that I think I'm better but I enjoy leveling up and raising my vibrations to be the best version of myself physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. I have an issue with someone who is supposed to be my friend and secretly she is planning to get me to be friends with someone who ripped off my client and I never knew they were friends. And she says that is her best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay. It, it, it seems like here you have a whole web of deception. These friends. And <laughs> they don't really sound like real friends. She doesn't sound like she has a your best at heart. Did you uh, speak to her about whatever this cosmetic was that she recommended to you? Did you speak to her and let her know that, you know, it caused you this discomfort or whatever? Or did you just go away and just act like, you know, and complain about it? Did you confront her about it to let her know? Maybe she didn't know it was something wrong with it. All right. And she said that she is friends with somebody who ripped one of your clients off or whatever. Look, true friends are usually those who offer you support, improve your quality of life, promote self-confidence, provide honesty and unconditional love, and help you progress mentally. It often takes time and effort to foster deep, healthy relationships, people. So, we, we need to know what a true friend looks like. True friend is loyal, is honest, has empathy, respect, trustworthiness, is non-judgmental, and dependable. That's a true friend. 
If your friend does not meet up to these qualifications, you need to look at it. You may have a fake friend. If your friend is not dependable, the friend will tell you that they're going to do something and they don't do it. They don't come back and give you an explanation or anything. They just act like they never said it. That's not being dependable or honest. That person is fake. Know the qualities of a good friend. A good friend should be your cheering squad. You understand? You're trying to do something in your life. Your friend is one that supports you and boosts you and gives you that confidence to keep going. They don't criticize you and try to tell you, you know, and try to tell you all the reasons why you shouldn't do it. That That's not a true friend. You see, I, I found something here that I found really interesting. I found the uh, words to to a song by this uh, this rapper, and I thought it was really interesting. He says, "You know, it's family first off, and blood is thicker than water, and there's no friend indeed like a friend indeed, but there's one thing you gotta watch." And that's a friend in greed. All right. These are some lyrics to, to his rap song. Grew up with friends back then, but we not friends no more. Yeah, it's some friends like family and friends like bros. But if some friends getting jealous, that's when friends turn to foes. Friends, not many of us have them. Let's talk about friends, not ones we can depend on. Let's talk about friends, because not many of us have them, not ones we can depend on. I, I, thought, <laughs> I thought that was really interesting, because it's so true. A lot of, of people that we call friends many times, they are just acquaintances, not really friends. Not really. In my life, I can say that I tried to um, to form at least two friendships in my life, two women. The first woman stabbed me in the back, and so did the second one. You know, it, it's not an easy thing to find a friend, a true friend. And if you have found one in your life, you cherish that person. Cherish that person, because that's a gift. It, it It is not easy to find a friend that you can totally trust and depend on. It's a treasure if you found one. In my life, I can truly say I have not found one at all that I can totally trust. No. Uh, many friends, you tell them something. And they can't wait to go out and tell somebody else what you said. <laughs> and then they'll come back and have the nerve to tell you what they said. No. That's not a friend, people. It's not a friend who um, is always needing something from you. That's not a friend either. Every, you, you don't even hear from them until they need something. You know, they need a ride, or they need some money, or they need something to eat. That's not a friend. No, it's not. Mm -mm. And they don't really have time for you. Don't really have time. They just come over to get what they need from you. Maybe a pat on your back. And they go on about their business after they get what they came for. That's an acquaintance. That's not a friend. A friend will be with you through thick and thin. A friend. You see? When you down and out, your friend will be there with a helping hand to lift you up. They won't turn their back on you and say, and just look at you. <laughs> when you need help, they're just looking at you. But when you're on top, you have a whole bunch of people coming wanting to be your friend. They want to be with you all the time when you have it all. But lose it and see what happens. 
then you'll get to see if you have a real friend out of that bunch when you need something. Unfortunately, in my life, I never found that person that would stick with me through thick and thin. So, I had to learn how to do it on my own. To work out my own issues. I, I never had a friend that I could share with and that kind of thing and know that it's going to stay between us. It's going to be confidential. See, that's the key. A lot of people sit down and listen to you, you know, vent or whatever. But as soon as you leave them, your business is in the street. You don't want that. That's not a friend. That's not a friend. And it's not a friend who will secretly try to take your man away from you. That's not a friend either. I've had uh, my girlfriends to try to do that too. That's not a friend. It's an acquaintance. They're just jealous to see what they can get from you. They're jealous of what you have. So they either want to destroy it or take it. Beware of this, ladies. Women can tend to be very jealous when they feel like they cannot get what you have. So, they want to take it from you. They don't feel like they have it within themselves to build it on their own. But you you have it and it's sitting right there and I know you. And, yeah, and I, I'll take that from you. Women do that far too many times especially when it comes to men. Be careful, ladies. Know if your friend is true or fake. It, it, it can affect your well-being because anyone that you deem as a friend, you have allowed them to come close in your inner circle and they could hurt you there. They can harm you. Because you trust them. But they may not be trustworthy. This is why you need to have your eyes open about this. Don't accept everybody in close. If they are acquaintances, just keep them out on the fringes. They're just acquaintances. And don't share your personal business with them. Don't let them get too close to you. These people will come in pretending to be a friend when their basic intention is to hurt you. All right? And be careful because they could be narcissists. And you know the narcissist is coming to destroy you. Yeah, be careful. Be very careful. All right? And, the, and if your friend happens to be narcissistic, oh, they'll come in and love bomb you. To get close to you. It's the same thing. Be careful about fake friends. They are everywhere. They're very easy to attain. And sometimes hard to get rid of. Let go. Don't feel like you need friends. What do you need them for? You can live a happy life without friends. If you are fortunate enough to have friends that you can depend on and you love them, they love you, they are only out for your very best, then fantastic. You have a wonderful gift. But there are too many of us who have these fake friends who are really out to destroy us. And this is what I want you to understand and to get a handle on. Protect yourself. Love yourself. And when you see toxicity in a friend, it's best to let them go. I hope that you understand the message today. And I really hope that it helps. Now, those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, here is the link. Send your questions to Miss Faye's World, YT at Hotmail.com. That's 
Miss Faye's World, YT, at Hotmail.com. And try to keep your letters to one page. Just summarize your situation and ask the question. And if you prefer that I answer your question privately through the email, just put it at the very top of your letter and I will comply. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. And thank you for your comments and your letters. And a special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all the very best. And I really hope to see you next time.